something insane was happening in the past. There was something crazy happening in the Indian startup ecosystem. A big bubble was forming. It has to be a giant scam. Like worthless startups valuing millions and billions. And you are telling me that businesses with no revenue, no profit are worth millions and billions. And individuals who started these startups were also worth millions and billions at a very young age. And then there was you. तुम शायद उस वक्त एक जॉब कर रहे थे जो तुम्हें अपनी कॉलेज डिग्री की मदद से मिली थी एट द टाइम यू डिडेंट हैव इनफ सेविंग्स टू कवर योर एक्सपेंसेस तुम्हें लगता था कि यू आर नॉट पेड इनफ यू हैव क्रेडिट कार्ड डेट्स दैट नीड टेकिंग केयर ऑफ शायद तुम उस वक्त एक स्टूडेंट थे जो सिर्फ एक डिग्री लेने के लिए पढ़ाई कर रहा था एंड यू आर होपिंग दैट दिस डिग्री दिस यूज दिस डिग्री कैन हेल्प यू इन गेटिंग अ गुड जॉब यू प्रोबेबली डोंट हैव इनफ सेविंग्स एट द टाइम यू ओनली हैड अ ह्यूज स्टूडेंट डेट जो तुम्हारे सर पर एक तलवार की तरह लटक रहा था Wealth, getting rich, earning in millions and billions ये सब तुम्हारे लिए एक सपने के जैसा था तुम उन सारे मिलियनर्स और बिलियनर्स को देख के सिर्फ एक ही सवाल पूछते थे कि हाउ डिड दे डू इट हाउ ऑल दीज वर्थलेस स्टार्ट अप्स आर वर्थ मिलियंस एंड बिलियंस हाउ ऑल दीज गाइज आर वर्थ मिलियंस एंड बिलियंस विद अ वर्थलेस बिजनेस एक ऐसा बिजनेस जिसमें ना कोई प्रॉफिट था ना कोई रेवेन्यू After seeing all those millionaires and billionaires, it makes you angry. तुम अपने आप से कहते थे कि they were smart, they were lucky, they cheated everyone to earn that money, they were fooling everyone. You also thought of starting a startup and raising millions and billions and becoming rich in few months. But at that time, you always said that I'm not smart, I'm just unlucky, I'm worthless. Those dreams you had of buying that house, your favorite sports car, paying off your mortgage, or traveling around the whole world, these are dreams, dreams ही रहने वाले थे. You were just jealous, jealous from those startup founders and their networks. तो मैं समझ आ चुका था कि ये तुम्हारे बस की बात नहीं है. You will not be able to earn money like those startup founders, and you, you were on the losing side of it. But what if I told you that you were wrong? It was a scam. It was a big bubble. Valuations of all those worthless startups, net worth of all those worthless startup founders, it was all a scam. By the end of this video, you will understand. There is other side to the coin you are not being shown. There is other side of Indian startup ecosystem. During this journey, we will unveil the fake mask from the Indian startups. We will unveil the truth of Indian startups. At the end of this journey, you will never feel jealous. You will never say yourself unlucky. You will never feel worthless. So, are you with me? This is the story of the bubble that people thought would change the rules of economics until it burst. Still with me? Then bina time waste ke start karte hain. This was the time when computer penetration started reaching extraordinary levels. At the time every person in United States started updating their lifestyle, their way of living, way of entertainment. by simply having a internet connection for their computers hundreds of internet startups were popping up from every corner of united states the startups were raising millions and billions investors were trying to invest in every possible internet startup everybody was very bullish on dot com companies the startups with no business plan no product no profit no revenue were raising millions and billions with the help of their single website Everyone was just trying to profit from that internet revolution. Money was just raining in the market. Startups with no revenue, no profit were valued millions and billions. Usse zyada hairani ki baat ye thi ki some of those worthless startups were listing on the stock market with record breaking openings. Everybody was profiting from that internet revolution. The stock markets reached to new heights. Everyone's pockets were full of money. Har kisi par paiso ki barish ho rahi thi. Everyone was happy. No one was aware about the fact that a big bubble is forming. Har kisi ko lag raha tha ki ye uska acha time chal raha hai. Har koi bas us rat race mein participate karne ki koshish kar raha tha. But let me tell you something about rat race. Rat race is not a bad thing at all. But only those people earn money from rat race who started that race. Those who participate in that race after seeing others, they always fail miserably. The bubble that had grown so much in the last ten years has finally burst. Just like any other bubble, investors started pulling their money out from all internet startups. Market started crashing. In fact, U.S. stock market fell more than ten percent. 
Thousands of employees were fired to cut cost. Startups went bankrupt. Alarming news headlines were everywhere. Fear, unemployment, bankruptcy surrounded the whole United States from all sides. Investors lost more than $5 trillion of wealth. This, my friend, we all call it as the dot-com bubble. On March 10, 2000, the Nasdaq was worth $6.71 trillion. But the next day, everything changed. The dot-com bubble burst and the market went into a free fall. In less than a month, nearly a trillion dollars of stock value deflated. By October 2002, the Nasdaq had lost 78% of its value. Companies whose physical assets couldn't keep up with their once soaring stock prices, like Pets.com, lost millions of dollars and went out of business. But now the question comes, how did this bubble kaise bust? Hua? So before the market crash, jitni bhi worthless companies ne apne investors se million dollars raise kiye the. They were just spending that money on useless things. These companies were spending money on useless advertisements, promotions, acquiring new customers. They were focusing on increasing their user base. They were expanding their business. Sab kuch to acha chal raha. Fir aakhir kyun bas tu abu babad? The answer to this question lies in the question itself. Hundreds of those useless, worthless startups were burning the investors' wealth like crazy. They were literally flushing investors' wealth like shit without earning a single dollar in profit. Unko pata bhi nahi tha ki unke liye kitna bada crisis aane wala tha. But when everything was fine, good, happy, then the investors' money started to dry up. Hundreds of startups ran out of money. Investors ke paas bhi paiso ki scarcity thi. No investor was ready to invest again in those startups. Then my friend, this huge bubble came to an end. Hundreds of those startups were not able to survive. They went bankrupt. They ran out of business, except for few. Those few startups did not participate in that riot race after seeing others. They genuinely had a good business. But did this whole dot com crisis was history? But let me tell you something scary about history. History always repeats itself. Internet revolution came to United States in late 1990s. You tell me one thing. When did internet revolution came in India? 2000? 2010? Huh? But I think Sai Maino mein internet revolution in India mein tabaya. When Jio launched in Indian market in 2015. After Jio's entry, millions of people had access to internet. Millions of Indians had smartphones in their hands. And then the same rat race started in India, which was started in United States few years ago. Hundreds of internet startups were popping up from every corner of India. Startups were raising millions and billions. Investors were trying to invest in every possible technology startup. Everyone was very bullish on technology companies. Money was just raining in the market again. Startups with no revenue, no profit were valued millions and billions. And you know what? Investors and venture capitalists were earning lots and lots of money by selling their stake in private markets, by selling their stakes to retail investors in public markets. Each and every investor was sitting on mountains made up of money. No one was aware about the fact that a huge bubble is forming. Startups started to come up with huge IPO valuations, expensive share prices, highly overvalued companies. What about retail investors, huh? Those fools? Those fools were busy in booking their listing gains only. Everyone was happily living their lives until 18th November 2021. What happened on 18th November 2021, huh? Actually, on this day, this huge bubble starts to burst. On this day, a company loved by everyone, a company being used by everyone. A company, which was hyped up by all the people. On 18th November, a company named Paytm came up with an IPO. Everyone was just ready to earn money from this IPO. Angel investors, seed investors, venture capital firms. Everyone was just ready to print money from this IPO. Every investor of Paytm, including the founding team, was ready to sell its shares in high prices to those fools. Yes, you guessed it right. To those retail investors. And on the other side, those innocent retail investors were thinking, this legendary company will change their lives forever. This company will make them rich. They thought that after this IPO, they will never have that boring, that old, 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 that old. They were thinking that Paytm can help them to generate enough wealth to pay off their debts, to travel around the whole world, to buy their favorite sports car. But it was all an illusion. When Paytm got listed on the stock market, those innocent and little retail investors started to realize they have been cheated, they have been fooled, they have been betrayed, they have been scammed by the so-called legendary company. On 18th November 2021, 
पेटीएम स्टॉक मार्केट में लिस्ट हो जाता है एंड ऑन दी वेरी फर्स्ट डे पेटीएम शेयर फेल बाय मोर देन ट्वेंटी सेवन परसेंट एंड दिस फॉल माई फ्रेंड लीड्स टू अ बिग स्टार्टअप क्रैश अपार्ट फ्रॉम पेटीएम मैनी अदर प्राइवेट कंपनीज लाइक ओयो ओला स्नैपडील हैव प्लान देयर आई पी ओज इन दी नियर फ्यूचर ऑल दीज कंपनीज वर ऑल्सो रेडी टू फूल दो इनोसेंट रिटेल इन्वेस्टर्स बट आफ्टर दी बैड परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ पेटीएम आई पी ओ दे पोस्टपोन देयर आई पी ओज या यू हर्ड इट राइट दे ऑल पोस्टपोन देयर प्लान आफ्टर फ्यू डेज दो इनोसेंट एंड लिटिल रिटेल इन्वेस्टर्स स्टार्टेड टू टेक रिवेंज दे स्टार्टेड टू टेक रिवेंज फ्रॉम दो स्टार्टअप दैट हैव ऑलरेडी बीन लिस्टेड स्टार्टअप दैट हैव ऑलरेडी फोर्ड दैम वी ट्रेड दैम ची ट्रेड दैम ऑल दी न्यूली लिस्टेड स्टार्टअप इन दी पास्ट लाइक जोमैटो नाइका पॉलिसी बाजार स्टार्टेड टू क्रैश देर स्टॉक प्राइज स्टार्टेड टू क्रैश देर फीक वैल्यूएशन स्टार्टेड टू कम डाउन लेट मी टेल यू एन इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन अलोड मोर देन फोर्टी परसेंट वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट टू कैन एग्जिट यूजिंग आई पी ओज बट आफ्टर सींग दी बैड कंडीशन ऑफ पब्लिक मार्केट ऑल दीज चीटर्स दीज स्कैमर्स दीज वेंचर कैपिटल फॉर्म्स स्टार्टेड टू पुल देयर मनी आउट फ्रॉम द इंडियन स्टार्टअप इको सिस्टम दिस लो डाउन इन्वेस्टिंग देयर मनी इन इंडियन स्टार्टअप बिकॉज नाउ दे कान टेक एन एग्जिट यूजिंग आई पी ओज बट देर इज वन मोर रीजन ऑफ नॉट इन्वेस्टिंग इन इंडियन स्टार्टअप फेयर ऑफ रिसेशन यू टेल मी वन थिंग इन सारे वेंचर कैपिटल इसके पास इतना सारा पैसा कहाँ से आता है इज दिस देयर हार्ड एंड मनी हाँ डेफिनेटली नॉट दिस चीटर्स दीज स्कैमर्स टू ह्यूज लोन्स मेजरली फ्राम यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स एंड एट अ वेरी नेग्लिजिबल इंटरेस्ट रेट्स पहले इन सारे वेंचर कैपिटल को बहुत सस्ते में लोन्स मिल जाते थे और उस पैसे को ये इंडियन स्टार्टअप्स में इन्वेस्ट करके रिटेल इन्वेस्टर्स को चीट करते थे उनको धोखा देते थे बट नाउ एवरी वन इज इन दी फेयर ऑफ रिसेशन एवरी वन इज अफ्रेड ऑफ रिसेशन योर कंट्री माई कंट्री एंड ऑल दी कंट्रीज इन दिस वर्ल्ड पीपल लिविंग इन ऑल दीज कंट्रीज आर अफ्रेड दैट दे माइट लूज देयर जॉब्स दे मे रन आउट ऑफ बिजनेस एंड स्पेशली दी गवर्नमेंट्स द गवर्नमेंट्स ऑफ ऑल दी कंट्रीज आर अफ्रेड ऑफ दी अपकमिंग रिसेशन यू नो वर्ड रिसेशन इज वेरी स्केरी वेरी पेनफुल पेनफुल फॉर ऑल रिसेशन इज इन एवरीडेबल नाउ गवर्नमेंट्स आर रेजिंग इंटरेस्ट रेट टू कंट्रोल इन्फ्लेशन टू कंट्रोल दी अपकमिंग रिसेशन इवेंचुअली ऑल दी एग्जिस्टिंग वेंचर कैपिटल फॉर्म्स ऑल दीज चीटर्स दीज स्कैमर्स ऑल्सो रन आउट ऑफ मनी एंड दे आर नॉट विलिंग टू पे मोर इंटरेस्ट फॉर देयर लोन्स दे आर नॉट विलिंग टू टेक एक्सपेंसिव लोन्स एज अ मैटर ऑफ फैक्ट इंडियन स्टार्टअप नीड टेन टू फिफ्टीन बिलियन डॉलर्स टू सर्वाइव टू कंटिन्यू देयर ऑन गोइंग ऑपरेशन इन दी नेक्स्ट फ्यू मंथस but these venture capitalists want all their portfolio companies to survive on their own to manage all their expenses on their own to continue their ongoing operations on their own so according to me it's not surprising at all that these startups are laying off their workforce firing their employees making thousands of people unemployed without giving any prior notice and this is how my friend the indian startup crash started this huge bubble that kept growing in the past few years finally burst Sometimes bad things have to happen before good things can. But the question is how this startup crash, this fear of recession will affect the Indian startup ecosystem positively. As a matter of fact, more than 75% of unicorn startups in India are not profitable. Yes, you heard it right. More than 75 unicorns have not earned a single rupee till date. And now those scammers, cheaters, those venture capitalists know that we can't fool those little innocent retail investors now. Now all these venture capital firms will invest wisely. In future, they will only invest in profitable startups. No matter from what college you have passed out, no matter what degree you are holding, if you are worthy, if you are capable, if you have a profitable startup, you can raise enough funds to grow. For those who have studied from IIT or IIM, if they have an unprofitable startup, they will also have to struggle to raise funds. So finally, this long rat race has ended. In future, we will see startups that are worthy that are capable that are providing some value to its customers to its investors to its founders and especially to those innocent and little retail investors this might be a difficult time for some people for the employees that have been fired the retail investors that have been fooled especially all those people that thought of starting a startup and raising millions and billions and thought of becoming rich in few months or years but let me tell you one thing that bubble that huge bubble had to burst at any cost let me tell you again rat race is not a bad thing at all but don't participate in the rat race after seeing others be the one who starts a rat race hold on 
before you peek off the video i want to say thank you so much for watching this video till the end you watching this video till the end means i have provided some kind of value to you in some way or another so be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel because picture abhi baki hai mere dost